Um, I decided to take the AP course and art in general from 9th grade to 10th grade to 11th grade and now on to 12th grade. Um, and one of the reasons why I decided to take it was because one of the AP art students was sent to our 8th grade class um, when I was in 8th grade art. And I never thought that I like wanted to do art or was really interested because I didn't want I didn't think I was good enough and I also just wasn't really didn't know much about it. But when um, one of the AP art students was sent to the school to show her work, I was like inspired and um, encouraged to do it and I just thought it was like a really cool different kind of thing to do so. That's kind of why I do a PR. So AP Art kind of inspired me to take an art direction for my major for college and I'm actually going to go into graphic design and I, with my AP Art portfolio I was able to apply to a lot of different um, art colleges and I actually got accepted to my top choice Pratt Institute which is in Brooklyn and it's a really good art school. Um, I also got accepted to the Art Institute of Chicago and I'm applying to Parsons uh, School of Design. Um, I also because I took art all four years and now AP Art was able to prepare my portfolio to be, I want to be a textile major, um, but my art portfolio helped me to submit all of like my requirements for art schools and I got into my top choice school, the Savannah College of Art and Design. So I'm actually not an art major, I'm going to be majoring in computer science, but AP Art really helped me get into colleges because the portfolio that you make helps show a different light to you these to these colleges who are kind of just only looking at your SATs and your GPAs, but when they see what your work, what you're capable of, they get another aspect of you, and it actually puts you ahead of the other competition at those colleges, which is pretty nice. Uh, AP Art has a couple of requirements that you need to do. Um, so every week you have to submit a project, which is a jump from like art classes that you took before. It is hard to get used to, but you could use projects from last year and you can, you'll can you figure it out. You'll get used to it eventually. Um, and when you're done, you have to submit all of your work in a portfolio to the college board and just make sure that you're prepared. However, Copying an image off the internet is considered plagiarism and will get you a zero. And, um. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't plagiarize. <laughs> okay. So, AP Art made me make so many new friends because most of the kids in the class you would never like see. Or like they're really different. Like you got the jocks, you got like the geeks, you got everything. And so like I made some new friends, like Julia. <laughs> One of the things I love about AP Art is that you can do almost whatever you want. You have the freedom to be creative, and you can also choose your concentration and do whatever makes you comfortable. You don't get assigned to a certain subject and you don't have to do what the teacher tells you to do. It's something that you can use your imagination and create whatever you like.